how does uh, uh, an active in is it it will be necessary for an active investor hmm. to be able to identify that we are moving f or the market is moving from a vicious cycle to a virtuous cycle that basic knowledge hmm. has to be there before a person decides that he'll be an active investor yeah. if you don't have that knowledge hmm. it's probably not good to be an active investor am i correct yeah you're right okay you're absolutely right and the way to get is to track stuff like which comes out in the papers like say capacity utilization if capacity is low and rising it means that it's a risk reward favorable time if capacity is already high and demand is falling then it means that it's a, so i think these things are pretty much there but i think uh, any uh, advisor because most people invest with the help of advisors an advisor should be able to guide them where we are in the economic space and for example if you take today right in the situation where we are because you already spent almost five and a half years in this uh, cycle right so where are we is we ending the cycle are we entering the next vicious phase is a question which will beg to be answered so the question here is that while capacity creation has been happening we are still only at 76 percent capacity utilization in the economy right and so the journey from 76 to 100 what 100 the economy will not reach but 80 85 it can reach is still yet to be completed one second all of this growth from say 71 to 76 has happened because of government spending the private sector's capacity creation is not yet happened and that's everybody's aware so I think based on this capacity utilization itself is a big big signal to tell you where we are in the cycle curve okay right? low and rising capacity utilization is good cycle High and falling capacity utilization. It's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Okay, now let's try and get to returns so that you realize where is it that you would miss out or do better if you are an active investor versus a passive investor. Mr. Subraman, the table is all yours. Yes, so basically if you look at the three cycles and you have the active investor and the passive, let's go from the passive to the active. So the passive portfolio which was 70%, 50% large cap, 40 mid cap and 10 small cap delivered a 57% return per annum in this period he lost four and a half percent per annum in this period and he had 15 percent now typically why this happens what this this the reason i'm saying is there's actually a third investor who is an uninformed investor and Delbert didn't put it up because what do typically investors do is that in a period when these returns are good if you recollect the numbers 49 for large cap 66 63 for mid cap and 77, 77 for, for small, small cap, cap looking at the 77 percent annum last five years returns people go and dump more money into small cap absolutely the wrong thing because you have lost that much more so this while active and passive I'm still dealing with two people who are reasonably smart and doing something but the actual investing population and I don't want to say this that that it will be like saying investors are idiots sure. but the fact is that is the behavior when you go for past returns that's absolutely the wrong thing to do take the past returns to do because it's certain to be hurt